Then there's the idea, too, of course, that's deeply embedded in the first chapters of Genesis, which is a staggering idea, you know, and, and certainly not one that's likely that human beings were made in the image of God, both male and female were made in the image of God. And that's, of course, a very difficult thing to understand, partly because the God that's referred to in, the, in those chapters has a kind of polytheistic element, um, although it, it's an element that's moving rapidly towards a unified monotheism. But it's not also obvious to me why people would come up with that concept, because I don't really think that when we think about each other, we immediately think God-like. You know, the, the notion that every single human being, regardless of their peculiarities and strangenesses and sins and crimes and all of that, has something divine in them that needs to be regarded with respect and that plays an integral role, at least an, analog an analogous role, in the creation of habitable order out of chaos. That's a magnificent, remarkable, crazy idea. And yet... We developed it, and I do firmly believe that it sits at the base of our legal system. I think it is the cornerstone of our legal system. That's the, the notion that everyone is equal before God, which is, of course, a completely... That's such a strange idea. It's very difficult to understand how anybody could have ever come up with that idea because the manifold differences between people are so, so obvious and so evident that you could say the natural way of viewing someone is, or, or human beings is in this extremely hierarchical manner where some people are contemptible and, and, and easily brushed off as, as pointless and pathological and, and without value whatsoever and all the power accrues to a certain tiny, you know, aristocratic minority at the top. But if you look at the way that the idea of the in individual sovereignty developed, it's clear that it unfolded over thousands and perhaps ten thousands of years before it became something firmly fixed in the imagination that each individual had something of transcendent value about them. And man, I tell you, we dispense with that idea at our serious peril. And so, and, and if you're going to take that idea seriously, then, which you do, because you act it out, because otherwise you wouldn't be law-abiding citizens, right? You act that idea out. It's, 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 it's firmly shared by, by everyone who, who acts in a civilized manner. The question is, why in the world do you believe it, assuming that you believe what you act out, which I think is a really good way of fundamentally defining belief. So, 